If you are over the age of 50 and suffer from arthritis, you are well aware of the fact that the pain and discomfort can be incapacitating. The good news is that there are things you can do to lessen the severity of the symptoms you're experiencing. Today, we are going to talk about seven foods that have been linked to making arthritis symptoms worse, as well as some pain management strategies that you can use. This video is for anyone who is looking for a way to manage the pain associated with arthritis, or who simply wants to avoid any discomfort in their joints. Therefore, whether you've just received a diagnosis of arthritis or have been living with the condition for some time, continue to watch. 1. Foods that contain gluten. Gluten is a type of protein that can be found in grains like wheat and barley. If you suffer from arthritis, eating foods containing gluten can be very detrimental to your joints. Gluten's protein is what causes inflammation, which, in turn, can make arthritis symptoms worse. It's important to keep in mind that gluten is present in a wide variety of foods, not just breads and pastas like most people think. If you have been given a diagnosis of arthritis and are over the age of 50, you should probably think about eliminating all foods that contain gluten from your diet. Check the ingredient list of a food for any of the following words to determine whether or not it contains gluten, wheat, rye, barley, or oats. If you're unsure, it's best to avoid it. However, you shouldn't be concerned because there are a lot of tasty alternatives, such as quinoa, buckwheat, and almond flour, that can provide the essential nutrients for healthy joints that your body needs. Therefore, the next time you go to the supermarket, you might want to think about picking up some of these gluten-free alternatives instead. 2. Foods that contain a lot of salt. Salt is frequently used to enhance the flavor of food and make it taste better. However, consuming an excessive amount of salt can have adverse effects on your health, particularly on your joints. Consuming foods that are high in salt can cause you to retain water, which can result in swollen joints and other health complications. If you're over the age of 50 and struggling with arthritis, it's especially important to keep this in mind. Because of this, it is extremely important to pay attention to the amount of salt that you consume on a daily basis through your food and beverages and to ensure that you get an adequate amount of potassium through other food sources, such as fruits and vegetables. Potassium helps to counteract the effects of sodium and may also assist in reducing swelling in the joints. Potassium can be found in most fruits and vegetables. Avoiding processed foods, which frequently contain high levels of sodium, is a straightforward method for cutting down on the amount of salt that you take in. Instead, go for foods that are fresh and that you can prepare on your own. Instead of relying solely on salt to impart flavor, why not give herbs and spices a shot when you're in the kitchen? You can also choose foods that are lower in sodium by reading the nutrition labels on the packaging of the foods you buy. When dining out, another piece of advice is to watch the amount of salt you consume because food in restaurants tends to be loaded with salt. Ask the person preparing your meal if they can prepare it with less salt or if they can prepare it using herbs and spices instead. Additionally, Make sure you check the amount of salt that is contained in salad dressings, ketchup, and other condiments like soy sauce and ketchup. 3. Particular Vegetable Oils Moving on, let's discuss particular vegetable oils and the impact that they can have on arthritis. Those who suffer from arthritis should exercise caution when consuming vegetable oils like corn, sunflower, and soybean oil because these oils have a disproportionately high concentration of omega-6 fatty acids compared to omega-3 fatty acids in their composition. It is essential to maintain a healthy equilibrium between these two categories of fat, as omega-6 fatty acids contribute to inflammation while omega-3 fatty acids work to reduce it. When this equilibrium is disturbed, your body is unable to respond appropriately to inflammation or other inflammatory signals in your body, which can result in sore joints and stiffness in the joints. The question now is, what should you eat instead? Olive oil is an excellent choice because it contains a high concentration of monounsaturated fats, which have been shown to have an anti-inflammatory effect. Avocado oil and macadamia nut oil are two more alternatives to consider.
These oils are not only healthier for your joints, but they also have a flavor that is robust and full-bodied, which will elevate the flavor of the food you prepare using them. When you are cooking, you should make an effort to use as little vegetable oil as possible and instead choose one of these more nutritious alternatives. You can use any one of these alternatives in place of the vegetable oil that is called for in a recipe. You'll be glad you did. When shopping for oils, it is imperative that you search for options that are unrefined and obtained through the process of cold pressing. These are less processed than others and have a higher nutrient content. 4. Processed meats. Because processed meats like lunch meats, sausages, hot dogs, and canned meats contain nitrates, which are preservatives that can cause inflammation in the body, they can make arthritis symptoms worse. This is especially true for people who already have the condition. Because of the inflammation, you may experience chronic pain, which will make it more difficult for you to move around and exercise. Try switching to natural meats like organic chicken breasts, lean sirloin steak, or organic turkey breast instead of consuming the meats listed here. They do not contain any of the additives or preservatives that are typically found in processed meats. If you do not have any allergies, fish is another excellent option to consider. If you make this one simple adjustment to your diet, you will lessen the amount of inflammation that occurs in your body which will result in an improvement in the symptoms of your arthritis. 5. Refined Carbohydrates Another category of foods that, if consumed in excess, can make arthritis symptoms worse is refined carbohydrates. Foods that have been stripped of their natural fiber and nutrients are examples of refined carbohydrates. Examples of refined carbohydrates include white bread, pastries, and sugary snacks. Consuming foods of this nature can result in an increase in inflammation as well as a sharp rise in blood sugar levels. When you already have arthritis, this can make your joints hurt and make it difficult to move, especially in the morning. Choose options that are whole grains and unprocessed if you want to cut down on the amount of refined carbohydrates you eat. Whole grains, like quinoa, brown rice, and oats, contain a high concentration of the fiber and essential nutrients that, when consumed regularly, can alleviate inflammation and contribute to an overall improvement in health. Making your own snacks at home out of whole grains, fruits, and nuts is another way to lower the amount of refined carbohydrates you take in on a daily basis. 6. Added Sugars You'll also be able to steer clear of the added sugars and artificial preservatives that are frequently found in packaged snacks purchased from the store. You will experience a reduction in inflammation throughout your body and an improvement in the symptoms of your arthritis if you make even just a few of these dietary adjustments. Added sugars are another food that can make arthritis symptoms worse, so let's add this to our list of foods that can make arthritis symptoms worse. Consuming foods that are high in added sugars can lead to an increase in inflammation in the body, which can cause joint pain and stiffness. This can be prevented by avoiding foods that are high in natural sugars. A wide variety of foods, including sugary beverages, candies, and baked goods, all contain added sugars in varying amounts. It is essential to be conscious of the amount of added sugars you take in on a daily basis, as even inconspicuous amounts have the potential to quickly add up. If you want to cut down on the amount of added sugar you eat, you should try to consume as few processed foods and sugary drinks as possible. Instead, choose natural sweeteners like honey and maple syrup or fruits for a taste that is more true to its origins, such as sweetness. Try reducing the amount of sugar you use when you are cooking or baking and see if the dish still turns out well. You might be surprised to find that you can reduce the amount of sugar you use while maintaining the same level of satisfaction with the flavor. When you are purchasing food that is already packaged, it is essential that you check the ingredient list. Because the ingredients are listed in the order of their weight, the presence of sugar near the beginning of the list indicates that the product contains a significant amount of this component. 7. Fried Foods As a final topic, Let's discuss fried foods and the role they play in the development of arthritis. Fried foods have been shown to increase inflammation in the body, which can worsen arthritis symptoms such as joint pain and stiffness. People who suffer from arthritis should avoid eating fried foods, 
Deep fried foods, like French fries, fried chicken, and onion rings, are examples of the kinds of foods that should be avoided. In addition to having a high number of calories and a high percentage of saturated fat, the body will experience inflammation as a result of consuming these foods. To improve your health and reduce the amount of inflammation in your joints, try baking or grilling foods instead of frying them. These cooking methods produce better results and are healthier overall. You could also try cooking the food in a pan or using a stir-fry method with healthy oils like olive oil or avocado oil. You may be able to improve the symptoms of your arthritis and help reduce inflammation in your body by making some simple adjustments to your diet and avoiding foods that are deep fried. In conclusion, you can help to reduce the pain and discomfort associated with arthritis by avoiding the seven foods on this list that are especially worse for arthritis sufferers over the age of 50 and finding alternatives. We really hope that you found this video to be useful and educational. If you enjoyed it, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this one. In the comments section below, please let us know if you have any questions or suggestions for videos that will be uploaded in the future. I am grateful to you for watching.